Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. I hope everybody had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving and hope you're having a good uh, Black Friday. <laughs> uh, whether you're out just enjoying yourself, staying away from the crowds or uh, fighting over uh, stuff that next year you won't even care about at some local store. Anyway, um, my special six years ago today present was Jake, who was six weeks old and now, wow, six years. So, um, and here's his little brother here, Razor, who's going to be 20 weeks old, five months tomorrow. So, uh, who, by the way, started the walk with a white face, and now his face is all dirty from digging something he shouldn't have been digging at. And he's growing so much. You see that blue harness? <laughs> That's his sixth harness he's had since we got him at six weeks. He just keeps growing and growing. Uh, yesterday, we had a little harness fiasco. Uh, my friend who's the owner of King's Restaurant, wonderful at restaurant in Glendale, everyone should check it out, uh, hooked me up with some free Thanksgiving uh, food. I was craving some wonderful baby carrots and broccoli and cauliflower and oh, everything was wonderful. But anyway, it was a lot of food, it was in a big bag. And I went to take it, and somehow Jake's harness, uh, both harnesses, Razor's buckle broke on his other harness because he just got too big for it. And Jake, all of a sudden, I'm looking, and I'm holding the leash in the harness, and there's no Jake. And Jake's like, oh, I'm free. So Jake went all call in the wild and ran down the street. And, and I thought he ran away, but he was just going to see if his uh, kitty friend... Uh, Zuki wanted to go for a walk. So, ow, Jake, ow, ow, ow. I gotta switch hands. Hold on. There we go. And, um, so anyway, I was like, what do I do? Do I chase after Jake? I've got the food. I've got Razor. Razor, and then because his broke, his harness, he ran after Jake, and but he stopped when I called him, and then I grabbed him. I said, no, you know what? Jake is where he is. Uh, everything will work out fine. I'm just gonna bring the food home and, you know, bring uh, Razor home. So I did that, and I went out to the, um, down toward the alley because I figured he'd be over there anyway I was calling Jake Jake and I was so impressed um, Jake came I heard other dogs barking in the neighborhood so I knew that a dog was coming I turned around and he ran right to me he knew and he was pretty far away and he heard me and he ran to me and he stopped and he let me uh, clip the uh, leash to the uh, collar because I was going to put it back in the loose harness that needed to be fixed and anyway I got him and everything was great and he was so happy I guess he thought about oh wait we had turkey there's <laughs> oh so, <laughs> razor's going to get all of it in my um and my bone and my special rawhide bone so I better <laughs> come back to mommy so anyway I think it's all the walking all the training we're doing getting your dog to know your neighborhood is critical for situations like that especially a Siberian Husky because he knew exactly where I was and he knew how to get there there was no oh I'm lost I'm going the wrong way where they can get even farther away from home so yeah Jake you did a good job say hi Jake <laughs> Jake he's so excited it's very windy now beautiful day but very windy so they're very into the wind what were you digging look at your face <laughs> Jay, okay these guys are gonna go I don't want to break my phone and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye have a great day